that. Dude, I used there. I used to listen to so many podcasts, but I've kind of fallen off, man. I mean, I guess a lot of the YouTube stuff um, that I listen to, it's ba- like I listen to stuff. I mm. don't even watch it as much. Oh yeah, yeah. Usually when I'm driving is when I listen to it the most, or when I'm working and I just have it in my yeah. headphones while I'm typing Hell away. Yeah. But yeah. But speaking of podcasts, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Trip and Toke, the Trip and Toke show. Uh, I am Trip, and I'm here with my guy, Toke. What is up? Doing good, FC Neo Tokyo. Hell How yeah. are you doing today, man? Man, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, dude. I uh, I started the day off a little rough, but I think literally, like, we've been recording the, today. We've been a little behind the scene inside baseball. We've been recording, and I've been having a fucking blast. Yeah, it's like, a good time, Like, I actually man. have had so much fun just talking with my friend. It's been pretty chill. Thank yeah. you guys for hanging out with us, and uh, we're going to play Control right now. Well, actually, he's going to play oh, Control, yeah. and I'm going to talk shit. I forgot, so we have to address something. What's that? We lost an episode. What you mean? We lost an episode of Control. We didn't post one because oh. we lost it. Oh yeah, so, that day was fucked up. We yeah. uh yeah, we recorded but the mics weren't on. So Right. So now, um, just to let you know, I've run around oh shit, dude, to be perfectly honest with you. Wait, did we lose an episode though? Yeah, we lost a whole episode. Okay, because I thought the two we missed were Sonics. Well we both we missed we did miss Sonic. Okay. But I we thought also, we only missed Sonic. Yeah, but we also missed um other shit. Oh damn. We well, yeah, we were tweaking that day. Yeah. We <laughs> we had some in the couch that day. <laughs> oh my god, we were fucking just Oh my god. Dude, I have missed so many collectibles. I didn't have nothing set up on my gun. But anyway, we got to a boss fight here. And I just couldn't beat it. I was upset. And now I've 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 tested the waters with a little bit of control and I feel good about the situation. Oh, you back to the boss fight? Yep. So we missed a little bit. We did miss a little bit. Oh, we good. But you didn't miss much. Other than our brilliant conversation. It's the same guy that was kicking your ass last time. It was. Why why did neither of those hit him? Oh my god, I've forgotten some of the controls. Oh my god, you forgot the controls to control. Right? Oh my god. Oh god. Damn, she about to throw a big ass. Rock. There's about to be some bad guys out here, except for I. You know what? I actually got him, got him good. Nice, close range. Fuck me. Run, bitch. This is way more exciting than it's been in previous episodes. She's like turning up. Oh yeah, dude. I got. I kind of got used to playing with her. Like I got this figured out. That's good. I'm glad, man. It makes it a lot more interesting. Where is he? 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 I like the right graphics there. too. The graphics are pretty sick. Hell yeah, they are. Where's the guy? He's gonna creep up on me any second now. There he is. Oh yeah. By the way, we've said this in a few videos, but I don't know what order I'm gonna send this shit out or we're gonna post this in. But uh, Trip has been dealing with some allergies. I'm good, man. I'll be alright. Oh, what the shit? I've dealt fuck? with them my entire life. I'll make it. Oh my god, I got fucked. Oh, give me this life, please. Where you at, dog? Yeah, where's that thing? Ooh, oh, damn. fuck. How the hell did he get you? He, like, anticipated it. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, your your aim is not what it has been. Well, I is that a guy to my left? I knew it was a guy to my left. I just uh, all right. I got this though. I just I did not. I got unlucky because none of the projectiles I threw got him. I did not have the right timing apparently. I still believe you got to be a little more stealthy. Well, he, he knows exactly where I am. They all know exactly where I am in this one. But, um, yes, you're right. For the rest of the game, I did need to be better. Like, 
like I said, I started playing this because I got so excited from playing it on the stream and so, like, bummed that we missed an episode that I'm like, I got a little bit more hush spa behind me. <laughs> Whatever <sighs> that is. Yo, so, um, I, uh, I actually slept in my bed last night. Where'd you sleep? Uh, in a bed. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing. Slept in a bed. You, you let slip night. last, that you were gone last night. <laughs> yeah, I was at somebody, someone else's home. A nice young lady's apartment. Aw, was it a nice apartment? Yeah, yeah, very nice. Very nice location. <laughs> very nice decor. <laughs> Comfortable bed. My yeah, king size, you know. I gotta admit, shit I... Was, shit was lit. Shit was lit. The sleepover, the thing about the sleepover is it's, uh, it's non-stop, you know? It, right. But how many liberties do you take with someone else's crib? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, how, how at home do you make yourself? <laughs> During, it, like, interesting. And, um, and I guess it, it depends on how serious the hookup was. But. Right. I try to make myself at home. You know? Uh, I try to help myself to food and stuff like that. Right. Uh, there was a movie watched. Oh, that's when I told you uh, that I watched Space Jam. Oh, you watched Space Jam yeah, 2? Yeah, Space Jam or the, one, oh, the first one. Uh, two and one. Cause, well, okay, so two, I don't think I ever got to actually review it. No, we didn't actually like talk about it, yeah. believe it or not. Like, so this is the official Space Jam review. One and two. Okay. Because I haven't seen one in a hot second either, like a long ass time. Okay, let's start with two, and we'll right. get to one. Which I literally had no desire. Like, hold on. Space I'm going Jam. In, no interest in Space Jam two. So, okay. So let me know if I should. Wait, have who any. who has no interest? You do. Yeah, me. You none. don't? I mean. None. Okay. So basically, I'll start it off there. If you have not seen Space Jam, and you're wondering if you should see it or not. I don't recommend you see it. You really? shouldn't go see it. Yeah. It was not a great movie to me. Okay. The, and the only thing that I keep hearing that people use to justify it as a good movie is like, oh, it's for kids. You know, but... But kids don't deserve to be... To, don't deserve yeah, garbage. It, it was kind of dumbed down. The humor, the humor in it was kind of elementary, like... Very much elementary. What the fuck Someone just must have sniped me? you from the back, bro. Sound like look like somebody sniped you from the back. There was there was a wall behind me. <laughs> I don't know, dude. God fucking damn it! I was whooping <laughs> ass that time. But yeah, so Space Jam Two was not all that good. And what's worse is I feel like they had a bigger budget, like a way bigger budget. Okay. And like way better well, graphics. How was LeBron? LeBron was not a good actor. Ooh, like yeah, nowhere he, near as bad as Michael Jordan, though. Michael Jordan was not a bad actor. No, Michael Jordan was a terrible actor. No way. What? <laughs> no way, dog. <laughs> terrible. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm comparing Michael Jordan to LeBron, and that's why I think he was a good actor. Huh, interesting. Um, but LeBron to me was, you could just see it. You could just see it from from the first line he had he could just be like oh he's not a great actor <laughs> and then the storyline wasn't that good either so really? now it's like bad acting on a bad storyline um the game to me wasn't even that like i don't know the game wasn't that interesting the, to me the the, the, the looney tunes weren't itself? really that loony to me Oh, yeah, man. Like, it, maybe I'm just being biased because I'm a Michael Jordan fanatic. As you can see, I have the big ass Michael Jordan poster right, right there. Oh God, fucking damn it! So maybe I'm just being dr uh, dramatic or like biased, but yeah, I was I was good off the Space Jam too. Like I, I remember what happened, but it just wasn't memorable to me. Okay. But then I watched Space Jam one. I actually want you to watch Space Jam 2, dog, and let me know if I'm off base or not. Do I have to not. pay for it, or what service? I don't know. I, I, uh, we watched Fucking it on. God damn it! I think it's free on Disney, but I don't know. Don't quote oh, me on okay. that. I, I got Disney. I, well, my girl's got Disney. You should be able to find it. 
Um, I didn't have to go to the theaters to watch it. Okay. <sighs> Space Jam 1. Okay, Fire. 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 Brilliant movie. Right. Should have won a, an award. Should have won multiple awards. Great cast. I thought, I, uh, believable script. Okay, so very the, believable wait, what's script. God, fuck, fuck. Yeah, that's what's getting you, dog. He's getting you quietly. He's getting you quietly. God damn it! I'm so fucking angry. Okay, anyway, I digress. What's up? Uh, very believable script. Very okay. believable storyline. Wait, what's the storyline for two? What what the fuck is LeBron up against? Cause I don't know the monsters. He's up against Don Cheadle. Oh. That's the villain in the movie. So that yeah. kind of, yeah, that I was already off that. Um, I actually had a good idea that I thought Diddy may have made a better villain. Well, Diddy is a real life villain. Yeah, yeah. And, like Diddy, literally, I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if Diddy doesn't take like preemie babies and use them as shoes. <laughs> that man exploits any human that comes within a mile radius of him. He literally exploits <laughs> anything and everything. He takes... I, I. He might even eat souls. He might. I don't know. I cannot I, mean, I fucking, cannot definitively say that Diddy does not eat souls. He turned Mason into a fucking god person. Maybe he ate his soul. <laughs> um, I thought you didn't... I thought you weren't into that kind of hip-hop and all that, man. <laughs> does it sound like I'm into, into Diddy's stuff? <laughs> I mean, Diddy's... He has a reputation. Of screwing over artists. For uh, you know what, I used to love the band. <laughs> I, I did too. I used to like the show. Yeah, Making hell yeah, I used to love the show. No, I think they got screwed over too. <laughs> Danity Kane, uh, The Locks. I don't oh. know if you're familiar with oh, The Locks. Oh, dude, don't get me started on Styles P. Is oh, yeah. one of the best rappers ever, bro. I agree, but I actually think Jada Kiss is better. I hear you. Just uh, I hear you. Jada Kiss is in my top five. I'm not against Jada of all Kiss. time. The locks were cool. But then, see, the lo Styles P is right there with Jadakiss, though. I, I see 100% why you think Styles P would be better than Jadakiss. I see that 100%. Just my personal preference, Kiss. Okay, I feel you. Who was the third guy? Uh, I always forget. Sheik Looch. Sheik Looch. Oh. Who is also respectable in his own right for the simple fact that he can keep up with Jadakiss and Styles right. P. Right. You know, he's he's respectable in his own. But yeah, uh, they got screwed over by Diddy <laughs> in the contract. Well, duh. I think Biggie, Notorious B.I.G.'s family maybe had an issue with him at one time, but I don't know for sure. Well, boy, he sure, he, he would have weakened at Bernie's his corpse if he would have let him in. <laughs> Like, uh, for that's, real. That is funny, my man. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's. Go ahead, dog. Don't forget about the ground. Don't forget about the ground, guys. No, that's where I get my life back. Speaking of. You need to throw something at this dude. Boom! There you go. You motherfucker. There you go. All right. He's working now. Yeah, now we got back in the groove. It's but yeah, Space Jam one, dog. Michael Jordan was a stud, dude. The even his uh, the NBA players that acted in it with him, they were like they had actual lines and stuff. Right. They like had Barkley, background. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. There were people in this. Larry Bird. Yeah. Oh, like, I dude. Larry Bird was in there. there was there was people. Um, Bill Murray was in there. Hell yeah. There was like real shit going on, dog. And then Bugs and Daffy were like really Bugs and Daffy. Right. In Space like... Jam 2, I don't feel like they were Bugs and Daffy. They oh, were for just real? yeah, they were almost like just coast they weren't even co stars. They were just kind of extras, I felt like. Wow. Yeah, whereas Bugs and Daffy in Space Jam 1, they were co stars. Like yeah, you know, they, legit... they were every bit as important as Michael Jordan. Yeah, I would agree. But yeah, as much as a movie called Space Jam sounds like, as 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 fictional as it sounds, I feel like Space Jam One was more believable. Okay. So what was LeBron tasked to do? I forget. 
still same thing beat the bad guys um his son was basically the same thing that uh, the same uh storyline as or the, the same plot as Space Jam 1 is play this game and win this game or you'll be stuck in this uh, alternate universe forever. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, but LeBron's shit was more centered around his son. Like, oh, I have to win so my son can come home with me, you know? Oh my or, god, they or, kidnapped his son? Or else Don Cheadle's gonna... Don Cheadle kidnapped LeBron James' <laughs> yeah, kid? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was more about LeBron's son and like him feeling like LeBron didn't love him enough. It was just different, man. I feel you. It, and, and the movie involved, I think it involved too much of LeBron's son. Okay, fair. Do you remember how to bring the map up? Wasn't it like one of the directional pads? There we pad? go. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Wrong way. I think at least. What's a good movie you've seen lately, though? Um, I saw something recently. What did I see? Do I want to? Yeah, I probably want to do this. Right, fast travel. Cruella was mine. Yeah, you were talking to me about. You were telling me that. Yeah, Cruella was cold. Was like it? that's a movie where it's like, even though it's for kids. Adults can watch it too. That's okay. what I'm talking about with Space Jam. It was for kids, and I don't even think a certain kids would find it interesting. Okay, I feel you. Yeah, but so, Cruella was interesting all across the board. You just blew my mind with the Cruella thing because yeah. it just reminded me of something. Yeah. And I've been, I've been meaning to talk to you about this. Yeah. So I got I, I watched so on Disney Plus or whatever they did this thing where they got live action people to sing the songs for fucking the Little Mermaid. Okay, like random people or just no. Alive? So like, well, like the Little Mermaid woman they casted sucked. She was terrible. The guy that they casted for the guy was uh, he was a decent singer. And then the are guy, you talking about the remake? Like what are you talking no, about? No, no, no. It's not a remake. It's like live action singing, and then they oh, show like part okay, of the okay, like okay. performance on the stage singing and okay. stuff, right? And so they got John Stamos to do the thing with the French guy. They got um, Queen Latifah to be uh, <laughs> Ursula. Okay. Which, oh, I gotta tell you. She'd probably I, make a good Ursula. I, right. I used to call somebody you know Ursula. Someone I know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Now I want to know. You're right. I'm going to tell you later. Tell me. <laughs> Not tell on me the internet. Tell me now. Off mic. <laughs> Off mic. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, what, <laughs> that's what I thought you were going to say, <laughs> but I just had to be sure, because it could have gone a couple of different ways. Yeah, no. But that's exactly what I thought you would say. Yep, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> yep. that's what we're doing. That's um, funny, um, but yeah, I can see that. <laughs> but anyway, so Queen Latifah, John Stamos, uh, somebody else, I can't remember. Do you know who they picked to do the crab guy? Who? fucking shaggy oh god okay you say that right he was by far the best what? he was better than queen latifah he was better than john stamos he was better he was the best what he was shaggy? the best singer in the entire fucking thing yes wow good he for did, him man. he did the best job i guess he is a singer he's probably the, right. the realest singer there right I mean, um, but John Stamos and, and Queen Latifah had well performed sections or whatever. Yeah. But like he was by far the was best. Was it a singer. musical? Well, like is like, this fucking Little Mermaid on ice? Like what? No, is, no, no, what no, are no, you no. watching, so, man? So what the? So a Little Mermaid's my girl's favorite Disney movie. Okay. Um. I forgot what. Oh, she had me watch. You know what? I, oh my god, I hate the fucking camera. You know what she had me watch that I actually liked that I had never seen before? The what? Princess Bride. The who? The Princess Bride. Oh, okay. It's who a Mel Brooks is... movie from the 80s. Oh. That's I'll like be her... watching old shit. That's... Yeah, man. Old shit is way It's an old movie. Disney movie? No, no, no. It's a real old Mel Brooks movie. Oh. I don't know who Mel Brooks is. Young man. Frankenstein, Blazing Saddles, um, Robin Hood Men in Tights. They sound like white movies, man. They they are extreme. Yeah. Spaceballs. <laughs> mm mm Sorry. The Star Wars parody movie? You've never seen that? No. Oh, my God. Unfortunately. Okay. 
Space balls? Yeah. Nah, man. Oh, God, my soul. Yeah. Yeah, you you know what, though? The more that I think about it, the, it is an extremely white cultural touchstone to be in the Mel Brooks. I mean, I'm into some white shit. Who's, who's your favorite white woman of all time that you're not related to or that's not? Let me say a uh, celebrity white woman. Who's okay. your favorite celebrity white woman of all time? Wow. Um, God, that's that's tough, dude. Is it, though? Yeah, it actually is. Because um, white people kind of suck. Damn, like, nah, man, there's some nice white women out there. Um, God Some damn. important white women who changed the world or whatever the fuck. Now, <laughs> now, just a reminder for everybody who's about to yell at me. He did say I couldn't choose people that I'm close with. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't. No, these are just celebrities. Oh, God damn And it. you're a middle-aged white man who's older than me, and I'm black. Don't call me middle-aged. Just for reference. <laughs> 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 My bad, man. My bad, uh, you were... You're a young no, cat. <laughs> what, is there like a secret? Oh my god, I'm gonna scream. You're a young cat. Y- yeah, thank you. I'm getting up there too, man. It's, it, I can kind of see it happening before it happens, and I'm like, fuck. Okay. Fuck, I'm getting old. You, you know, it happens to the best of us, bro. <laughs> yeah, happens to the rest of us. I can't take this anymore. Favorite white woman, go. Oh my God! You put me on the spot, dude. Yeah, um, absolutely. Oh my God! I'm, I'm. I got mine ready. Mine's is in the chamber, who, ready to who? go. You gotta, you gotta let me know. <sighs> Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Favorite white lady. Fell in love with her when I saw Speed. And the the features that I like are. I think she's very charming as a white woman. Okay. I think she's also very attractive in like a, she's like an attractive ass plain Jane. Like a, a hot fucking plain Jane. That you know is an extremely about? perfect way of putting it. And, but she's also charming personality wise. Very charming. So I like the movies that she's in. I think she's, I think she's always been like cool. Okay. Like, as a guy, I don't look at her as like, oh, she's a cheesy girl or corny or... You know what I mean? Like, as a woman, I think she's cool. Okay. I think she's... uh, Even as a celebrity. Even as a celebrity, I think she's a cool celebrity. Okay. And a mature white woman. (laughs) And a mature white woman. Yeah, that's my favorite white woman of all time. I love it. Does that help you determine who yours is absolutely not because that is such a weird question but i'm trying to think of who is, is like though? my favorite white lady actress is it though? and i really can't think of one if you ask me who's my favorite asian guy i would probably say jackie chan um i mean but what about jet lee maybe jet lee yeah, <laughs> I, I, I wasn't young enough to know bruce lee Oh, Bruce Lee for sure, though. But Jet Li could be nice. He, Dude. He does better movies to me than Jackie Chan. Where the fuck do I need to go, dude? I'm going to I'm gonna scream. I'm going to die. And we're just talking about Aren't you supposed to go to that, uh, that yellow, those yellow question marks? I'm supposed to. I'm trying to figure out how to get there. Ah, uh, I Motherfucking see. Motherfucking mail Oh, yeah. Ass. So what happened? Did you forget the charger at home or something? For what? This? No. The computer. How come it's not staying on? Well, I already have to unplug shit to plug this thing in, so... Oh, my God. Oh, we could have made that work, man. We got to see the timer. I know. Hold on. I literally played this game after we played it. I literally learned where I was going. I literally figured out everything. I literally even know what's going on in the story now. I like this episode of Control. I still have no idea what's going on in the story, though. I'm just so lost. I want to scream. Aren't you supposed to go to the yellow triangles? Yes. I mean yellow I am absolutely mark. supposed to go to the yellow triangles. So what's the story then since you know? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I totally just You still don't have a favorite white woman? It's favorite not a white one woman? Of the, motherfucking one Kim of the, Basinger. 
<laughs> is, is that the chick from Basic Instinct? Yeah. No, nah, is it? Hold on. Oh my god. Make Kim it stop. Basinger. Let me look her up. She's in Batman. Oh, Catwoman? No, nah, but Michelle Pfeiffer not bad neither. Oh, Michelle B- M- Michelle Pfeiffer's up there for me. For real like um oh my fucking god, it was right here. Tomasi. Okay, her real her full name is Camila and Basinger. For real? Yeah. Huh. I guess she was married to Alec Baldwin. Yeah, for a hot second. Really? Yeah. Interesting. And but she has a daughter named Ireland Baldwin. Weird. Oh, is that the one that the guy told like you you're a fat pig? <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Yeah, dude. Didn't he call her a fat pig on a voicemail or something? Definitely don't know anything about that. That sounds like some white history. It's some... Some white... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. Oh, shit. So she was in the Batman with... Michael Jack Keaton. Nicholson, yeah, Michael yeah. Keaton. We were watching that last night. You, I didn't even get to that. You asked oh. me what movies I watched recently. Oh, okay. We watched that last night. The old Batman? Yeah. That was a good one. That might be one of the best Batman. It was better than I remembered. It, I, I could see that. I could see that. And then uh, The Dark Knight was awesome, the one with Heath Ledger. The Dark Knight was the best. But movie. after that, I would pick this. I would pick the Batman with Michael Keaton. Kim Basinger was also in Eight Mile. Oh my God! I never I guess she saw was his Eight mom. Mile. She oh, was in Eight Mile. You never saw Eight Mile? No, hell no. Ooh, that's tough for me. It, do you have to see Eight Mile? Been here before? <laughs> do you have? You know what? Is it? A, is it? I think you can live your life without seeing Eight Mile. Honestly. Yeah, I agree. I truly believe that. What you're going to see is uh, Mackay Pfeiffer with a dreadlock wig. <laughs> and I, I, I couldn't deal after that. I could not deal. Oh, speaking of him, there's Mackay Pfeiffer right there. <laughs> <laughs> I know who Mackay Pfeiffer Mackay is. Mackay Pfeiffer. Oh, God. Kim Basinger. What? Who else did you say besides Kim Basinger? I forget now. <laughs> I think I was just screaming dumb shit. Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer was. <laughs> oh cool. yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer's that shit. Remember she was in that that Coolio video? <laughs> yeah, the movie. She was in the movie. Oh my god, Gang, there was uh, a movie with Coolio in it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Coolio did the smart the soundtrack for the movie. I oh. think the movie's called Dangerous Minds. Okay. And the Coolio song is called uh, Gangsters Paradise. Okay. Yeah, and Michelle Pfeiffer was likely in both. Okay. But yeah, she I, I agree. She's one of them she's one of them ones. She's one of them white women. She was cat women. She was. You... She was in uh uh Scarface, one of the greatest movies of all time. See yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's legendary dog. Who, oh Sharon Just... Stone that was in Casino. Oh, oh Casino was cold. Yeah, because Casino's dope. Sharon Stone is a bad chick. She's the one that was in Basic Instinct. She's the one. Oh, yeah, where she spreads her... Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. She's a beast. Yup. All right, is it time to go back? Wait. <clears throat> Traverse the... Sharon... Shit. What do I got to do now? I forget. Pyramid. Or not. Damn, Sharon Stone was in Casino. She a bad bitch. Total Recall. Basic Instinct. Yeah, she's oh, yeah, a she beast. she was in Total Recall. You know what? I like this white lady. The one in the video game? Yeah, which I I used to know her name and I totally forgot. Is she a real chick? No. I oh. just like the character. <laughs> okay. No, I, it's been a while since I fell in love with a video game character. I'm trying to think the last one. Oh, shit. The most recent news on Sharon Stone is that she's 
likely dating a 25 year old rapper oh my and his name is RMR I <laughs> I have feelings and she's and thoughts she's 63 and <laughs> he is 25 <laughs> Oh shit, look at the picture of them. Look, look, look. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> that has to be a joke, right? I, I don't know, dog. That has to be a I joke. I do not know, and I've never heard of this rapper either. <laughs> but he has a gold grill on the top and bottom, and he's wearing it with a ski mask. <laughs> and Sharon Stone is sitting right next to him. Wrinkly as shit. Looking elegant. Looking like she's aging gracefully. She is, yeah, I guess that was rude of me to say. She is, I mean, but people are allowed to get older. Like, I know her guy Hollywood's is, a motherfucker. Her guy is wilder. Yeah. But yeah, when you say Hollywood's a motherfucker, in Hollywood shit like this is normal. A 63-year-old classy white Because woman. everything, there, there's not a single relationship, whether it be a friendship or romance, in L.A. It's all business transactions. It is a phone. Sure, yeah. That's fair. It doesn't connect to any That's fair. Network, LA's like... The plane and the board. They're like the... Uh, and my is, they start a lot of trends the right that the whole country follows. Well. Like, the, veganism, I would say, started in LA. Like, got popularized in LA. I mean, LA. popularized, yeah. Yoga, sure. Pilates, these types of... I think that got popularized in LA. Probably. I would almost want to say exercising in general, like having a good body and shit like that. Got Which, as a, as a normal civilian, that probably got popularized in L.A. Do you work out? Every day, six days a week. I used to, man. I gotta get back on my shit. I'm gonna work out after this. I put on like fucking 25 pounds from COVID, bro. Not from, from getting COVID, COVID, but from lockdown. From lockdown? Yeah. 25 like, pounds? What were you doing? You're vegan. I know. What were you at the crib eating? No, it was impossible burgers and shit. Because, like, you, oh, couldn't, shit. you couldn't do anything. So I And I, I was going through a fucking breakup. Uh -huh. So I had to stay with somebody. And so, like, lockdown was happening. So all I could do was just drive around my car all night, every night. You know what I mean? And just eat snacks. <laughs> and it smoke was, pot and eat Yeah, food. that was literally my life. That was what it. What would you eat? What types of foods would you eat? Literally, like, what are, What can you get? What's open? Oh. They made the fast food restaurants stay open. Impossible oh, burgers. Shit, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Impossible burgers Just garbage. And it's like, right, and it's not my place either. So then I don't feel okay cooking. So then it's just like, throw the, you know... Fucking fake chicken nuggets in the microwave. You know what I'm saying? Like all that dumb shit. And you did that for 25 pounds. <laughs> yeah, for real. And then it didn't work out because I, because I couldn't go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go for a walk or some shit, man. Well, I did walk a lot, but again, it the doesn't thing about help. working out in your 30s and like, or even just going to the gym six days a week, is you you stop eating, you stop wanting to eat crap. Yeah, you Like, do. you still eat it you sometimes, but shit. it's, like, to get a fix of your drug. It isn't because right. you're dependent on it for survival. But then your diet gets so boring, dog. It can. And oh, this is shit. part of why I'm, I'm not vegan, because it's, like, a big part of life to me is eating, dog, and finding good food. Right. Great food. So now you are you don't have that. You're kind of robbed of that by being forced to be eat unhealthy and shit. It's not... I see. I don't feel like I'm missing anything, but it's it's. I don't know, man. I. Bless you. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it? Thank you, thank you. Oh, right. look, look, look at this picture of Sharon Stone. Oh, let's... oh my God! <laughs> now she has the now ski mask. Now she has on. the ski mask on. What the fuck <laughs> is happening? She's savage, man. She just got more cool points from me. <laughs> Only thing that would have made this cooler is if she had a, a gold grill in her mouth. I'm kind of anti almost every single celebrity. Oh, yeah. You don't like celebrities or money or fucking lavish lifestyles. Nah, bro. I like this view. Or but... kids. Yeah, see, you can't get this view without some cash, bro. No, I mean, you. Yeah, you Even can. though they you showed just... me love because I re signed my lease. You still can't get this bitch. <laughs> oh shit! You still can't get this bitch without without 
forking up some cash. Right. He said they showed me some love. They did. They did. Oh my Actually, goodness. I, I kind of finessed them, but we'll save that for another episode. Yeah, we'll save that story for another time. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Well, hold on. We got to wait till this is done. Hold on. I have fun watching Control. Yeah, we... These chicks ain't talking about nothing, man. <laughs> you said these chicks ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> they talking about girl stuff in that office, man. Oh, my God. I, Dude, I had fun talking to you, but I ran around circles in this place, like, for fucking ever. At least you found this chick, right? You know what? It's progress. <laughs> Progression. I, it, I just... Uh, anyway... He's right. These chicks ain't talking about nothing. It has been FC Neo Tokyo. It has been Trip. Trip TV. AKA Trip TV. AKA Official Triple on Instagram. Holler. Holler, man. And we, we are Trip and Toke at everything. Like, subscribe, notification bells, all yeah. that other nonsense. Just like, Comment, the for real follow, thing is. Yeah, turn com- up. The watch for- the next episode. For real. The for real, for real is that we enjoy doing this. We We feel like. You can enjoy coming by, hanging out, just fucking, you know, we screw around. You just watch the episode. You know what the vibe is. You know it's cool. You know what you the know vibes is. You know the vibe. Oh, actually, she's doing something cool. Shout though. out to Sharon Stone. Hold on. Savage lady. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll catch y'all on the next one. <laughs> hold on, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is happening? What are they showing us? gross you know what i think i think that the uh the janitor is the bad guy in this game uh uh-huh. there is a bad guy yeah it's like an well yeah the janitor shouldn't still be cleaning and doing his job while all of this is going on you think yeah fuck that that's like japanese level of dedication to your career fuck that dude i'm out <laughs> right I'm, out. I'm, I'm at home dog i'm at the crib right definitely not cleaning no conference rooms beautiful all right everybody peace out trip and toke on everything peace later